Hi, this is Julia, and today we're going to discuss here, we have phones, okay? Now, with phones, the thing is, is that there are viruses out there for phones. Now, I did make a video on how to find viruses, but I was little back then, and I didn't know much about it. But now, I, I've learned a lot more about this stuff. There are more apps to detect viruses. I put them all up here. They are very useful apps. You would want to use them to protect yourself because apps, believe it or not, in the Google Play Store can be viruses. And I know it's kind of hard to seem, but they can be. Um, and there, there is a reason why I have this phone here. I will show you guys later in the video. Um, okay, so here... I'm going to demonstrate. You have to have an antivirus program. I use Dr. Webb because it even finds apps that are giving ads to you. That's why I really like this app. Um, you can update it. Make sure, at, sometimes when you come in here, it says your virus definitions are out of date. So you have to come in here like once every few days and make sure it doesn't say it needs to be updated because you need to update it. Because, you know, obviously you have to update it. And I recommend scanning it once a week. I think you can schedule it. Let me see. Let's see if you can schedule stuff. Um, oh, we'll be in the scanning settings. Um, actually, in the update settings, you could tell it to automatically update, which really you should. You tell it not to update through data if you have a data plan, because um, obviously you don't want it updating on your data plan. But I usually have Wi-Fi because I'm when I'm at home I get Wi-Fi. Um, so again, make sure you have that setting checked, but if you have a, a data plan, then you probably should select do not update when it's on data. Okay, that's the first one. Make sure you scan too. Next one is an anti-spy app. There are people that actually put spy apps on your phone, and you're probably thinking, isn't that kind of ridiculous? Who would want to spy on your phone? Maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend or maybe your boss for work or maybe just an app could do it or maybe a random person that gets a hold of your phone make sure you lock your phone because if you don't lock your phone you could get um, people just to you know get in your phone and install these and they can install them very quickly too um, so you just scan it here it's gonna scan all your apps um, and you can see it found warnings they're not necessarily spy apps. They're not apps that technically spy on you. There are apps that might because they have suspicious permissions. So you can see there's two apps right here. If you click on one, it's going to tell you what's suspicious about it. And that way you'll know you can uninstall. And, however, this program is free, so you'd have to actually see what app it is and go in your settings and uninstall it that way because it won't let you uninstall from this. Um, but some of these apps, I mean, they're very suspicious. Um, I know these apps are fine. I've had them forever. Um, they're fine apps. Obviously, Facebook, that's fine. Some of the, actually, some of the permissions are needed for the app to work. So some of them you actually have to work. And look at all this snow. I forgot to show you. Look at, it snowed here in Tucson. Isn't that crazy? I know. Now, I love this app, App Privacy. It gives you all the permissions of all the apps. Red being bad, orange being okay, not that great. Um, and it says when people question. So I'm going to click on like the first one, and if you have a concern, you can question it. It's basically what it's saying like with the question there. So these are like all the permissions it does, as red being really bad, orange being not so bad, and then yellow being not really that bad, and then white being not harmless at all. Um, now, obviously Facebook is one of those apps that have all those permissions, yeah. Um, obviously Facebook will. And you can go in your settings here and make sure you, I like to show my system apps because you're probably wondering what are these companies wanting out of you? Because I know that, where is it, They're, the Samsung email app has 51 permissions. The one on mine has like 20, and it, and it only can email, and that's it. I mean, look at all this stuff that it can do. 
This is unreasonable. I don't see how a Samsung app would need to do all this. I mean, the one I'm most concerned about, it can reset your phone? Why would it want to do that? I mean, look at all this stuff. You know, some of this is reasonable, but not all of this. I mean, you're probably wondering, like, seriously? So, like, that really comes in handy. And the cool thing about it is you can open the app, uninstall it, manage it, like, on the settings. Let me show you. goes there. And you could go to Google Play and see the app. Obviously, system app wouldn't find it. Um, so... In our next one, we have our ad, an ad detector. You must have one of these if you get in ads. So you know what these ad companies are trying to get out of you. What information are these ad companies trying to get out of you? Now, you're just going to scan this. Pretty useful app. Be careful what you download. Look at the permissions before you download something. You would see, really, you're concerned about these. If those are all zeros you're pretty much fine. Except for you don't want to replace dialing with ad. That's bad. That's zero. These, not really that big of a deal. Most apps do that. So if I click on one, it gives you like all the ad networks. And if I click on one, it's going to tell me all the apps that use that ad network that display ads. Um, you don't want them to collect your info or any of this. All this is bad, and so is that. But if these, are, these have apps... Those always do. Always. Don't worry about that. Um, and one thing I like about app privacy is when you download an app, it actually tells you the danger level of the app and how many permissions it has. And you can click on it, and it'll give you more information about that app. It's like if you update it, it'll tell you um, things like that. I just moved all the icons up here so you could see them all. And one thing, this is a shame. There are some viruses out there. Um, they're pretty much a shame. I'm going to show you on my old Samsung phone. It is a Samsung attack. I know, right? Samsung's competing with Apple now. There's a lot of attacks going around for both companies. Apple just got hacked a week ago. Samsung's gotten a few hacks in the last few months. They got one in, ex in September, like towards the end. And they had another hack in, like, December. Oh, great. Oh, hold on. It's trying to call voicemail. Give me a minute. There we go. Okay. Um, so one thing, this is what a lot of people do. Let me show you an example. They come across something, free apps. They can get free apps. And they're all like, oh, I want free apps. I want free apps. You, you see these codes everywhere. Um, in magazines, posted on like boards for ad ads and stuff. Now, don't believe free apps. Is there such a thing as free apps? Not really. Like, really, yeah, there is. But like paid apps that are free, there really isn't. Um, saying you're the victim. You're gonna scan this. It's gonna ask you to open up a website, but you're gonna be like, I don't care. I want to open up this website. I want the free apps. And it, oh, it tries to dial a code on the dialer. That's not acceptable. Um, who would want a code on the dialer? Um, I'll show you what that code does. It's pretty bad. I'm going to scan it again because it doesn't always work. Again, it's going to ask me, and you're going to be like, I want these free apps. Look. Look at my phone. It's resetting itself. Is that really acceptable? I don't really think so. And guys, don't reset your don't reset people's phones with that link, please. Cuz it really does work, and I don't want you guys attacking people because it's so not right. Um so this is only for people that want to test it on their phones cuz of course people want to test it on their phones. Um, and it'll reset itself. That's pretty bad. Guys, I'm making a video. All right. Anyways, because it's what happens. This is what the reset screen looks like. It's pretty bad. You do not want your phone to get reset. If you see that, you're pretty much bummed out because your phone will get reset. 
So guys, do not click on those links. Do not scan those QR codes, especially the ones that sound suspicious. But there also is one more way to get a virus. Yes, there is. Be quiet, Grammy. I'm making a video. Okay. There is one more way to get a virus. An NFC tag. Have you seen these NFC tags everywhere? Well, these are special tags where you can scan your phone with it and it'll go to a specific website or do a specific command. Now, you can scan these tags and one thing, they do certain commands on your phone. This is a silly tag that we made and if I hit that, it'll run it. I don't want to run the tag, but you can run it that way. And that's how it could spread. Um, and if we look back at this phone, our sum can also damage your SIM card even, but a SIM card was already not active. But even some viruses can actually combine the reset with the killing of the SIM card. Not good. And look at that. That's pretty bad. And if you set it up, I'm just going to keep ending next. It does not look like it used to. And one thing about this attack, it actually, believe it or not, deletes all your pictures. It deletes your whole internal storage. That's pretty bad. Not your SD card, though, because I did test it, and it does not erase an SD. Um, no items. Nothing there. There are some viruses going around. You guys have to be careful. I did make a video before, but this video is way better, so if you guys see this video and you know a friend that has an Android phone, please send this video to them through, like, email, or maybe if they're your friend, show it to them, because you need to make this video spread around, because I just saw something on the news saying people are starting to attack phones by viruses. I, I just saw it on the news, so you guys re really have to be careful. They can spread through NFC. QR codes, links that people click on um, a lot of the time. There's even a bad virus or thing that happened with phones where pe people can control your whole phone. Pretty bad. Um, and make sure you don't let anyone send you those links because you don't want any of that stuff that happening, especially resetting your phone. Who like, would want their phone reset? Like One time I was over here playing on one of my other devices. My friend grabbed it. Went to the dialer and he typed in the reset code for Samsung. Now in the video, when it didn't work, you're going to actually see um, it showed the reset code um, in the thing. And yeah, so I think I can just stop this video. Make sure you spread this video around. This is a very serious video. You need to spread it to everybody you can possibly spread it to because it is super important. My other video was important. It got 7,000 views, but this one should get more because this one's even better. Um, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and be careful for these viruses.